Welcome to Today Matters, a short devotional in the Word of God. We're going through the book of Psalms, and today we're going to continue our study in chapter 9, going over verses 7 through 10. So open your Bible with me as we read today's passage. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. But the Lord reigns forever, executing judgment from His throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Psalm 9 is purely a praise psalm. Psalm 9 is really the first psalm after the first eight psalms to be totally devoted to lifting up praise to God. This praise to God is done in two parts. The first part, verses 1 through 12, is designed to help us to look back in our lives and praise God for all the things He's already done. The second half of Psalms 9 is looking forward and all about praising God in advance of the things he will do. To really grasp the tone of Psalm 9, I think it's important to reread verses 1 and 2. It reads like this. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you, and I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. David is taking time to praise God by using his words to tell people around him what God has done. And he is filled with joy singing praises directly to God. We are here to share the good news about what God has done with everyone around us and make sure they understand it's all because of God. The question I want to ask you today is, how is your praise life? I don't mean do you go around singing all day, but do you slow down enough in your day to stop and tell people about what God has done in your life? Maybe you're going so fast in life, you're not even aware of what God has done in your life. I want to challenge you to make it a point to tell about God's goodness in some area of your life to some person. This will begin to build your habit of praising God and develop a healthy and positive frame of mind, acknowledging that God is the source of our joy. In our verses today, verses 7 through 10, there are two distinct things David is praising God for. First, David is praising God for always delivering justice and the perfect kind of judgment here on earth. As followers of Jesus, we should be concerned about truth and how that truth is carried out here on earth. In the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 8, it poses this question, what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. You see, just like we read in Psalms 9, verse 8, God judges the world with justice and he rules the nations with fairness. We should tell everyone about this, because regardless of your background, your upbringing, or anything you might have done in your past, the Lord will forever be in control, and he'll make sure that this world is judged properly. This means we can praise God for taking this responsibility. God is in control of judging the world, and it's our responsibility to tell others of the truth that can be found in God. The second thing that David is praising God for is that God will always be there for those who put their trust in him. The Lord is a shelter, or as the Hebrew root misgav means, not only shelter or high tower, but a rock and a strong place. As we go through life walking in a relationship with God, we will, just like David, be able to look back in our lives to see time after time, God has been a safe place, a place we can run to, a place in life where we can retreat to when times of trouble come. That is so comforting to know. Knowing that we have a safe place with God allows us as believers to walk confidently through life, to know that with God, all things are possible. And when the enemy comes to attack, we have a perfect place to run to. That is worth celebrating. That is something that we should be sharing with people around us. There are so many people in this world going through life without that kind of place to run to. I can't even imagine not having that kind of shelter in my life. Praise God for providing this for us. As we close our devotional, we have to read verse 10 again. This is one of my favorite Bible scriptures, and I've highlighted it in my Bible. Those who know your name trust in you because the Lord does not abandon those who search for him. Wow, what a promise. What a promise we need to tell others about. What a promise that we need to tell ourselves. If we search for God, he will never leave us. So take time today to think back of all the ways God has worked in your life. 
Take time to praise him for being in your life and take time to thank him for always being someone you can trust and run to in times of need. Do this today because today matters.